Hello guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning how we can uh, train one uh, strain segmentation model uh, with the help of YOLO 11. So I think you know, uh, YOLO 11 actually recently came in the market and is published by Artalytics. So uh, I think in my channel, I already created one tutorial how we can perform the object detection with the help of YOLO 11. Even I already showed you the custom training. Now in this video, I'll also show you how we can perform the instance segmentation. And segmentation wise, I think I already uh, created one video. I think I already showed you how we can perform the data annotation, okay? So you can check, check that video if you want to perform the data annotation. Like uh, if you want to manually level up your data, you can check this video. So uh, guys, here I already created one amazing notebook. So this notebook will give you the entire step how we can perform the training operation. So for this example, I'm going to use one data set guys. And this data set is available in the RoboFlow universe, okay? So you can see a uh, RoboFlow universe uh, already have this data set. And if you don't know RoboFlow is a platform, here you will get all kinds of computer vision related uh, tools and technology. So it is having one amazing product called universe. Okay, so inside universe, you will get all kinds of data. Okay, with respect to all kinds of tasks. Let's you want to perform object detection, classification, segmentation, all kinds of data are available. So simply just try to click on the instance segmentation and search for this brain tumor data, you will get this particular data, okay? And this data set is already annotated. We don't need to annotate the data, okay? This is the best, uh, I mean, uh, functionality I usually prefer for up the overflow. I don't need to manually level up my data because data annotation takes time. Now, simply what you need to do, guys, is just click on the download data set and select the format. So here we are using YOLO v11. Try to select the YOLO v11. Either you can download as a zip file, either you can uh, download with the code snippet. So here I will use the code snippet. So I'll just click on continue. So this is the code snippet, just try to copy. And you need to paste in your notebook so first of all let me do the setup and all so first of all try to connect your runtime to the gpu so i already connected then after that just try to connect the notebook okay so this command actually will uh, show you the gpu configuration you got see i got tesla t4 you can also set up everything in your local machine it is also fine but uh, if you don't have gpu that time you can perform in the google collab now the first thing you have to install the Artalytics because I already told you uh, this YOLO 11 is available inside Artalytics. So you have to install the Artalytics package. And let me show you the Artalytics YOLO 11 GitHub. So this is the Artalytics. So it is having uh, actually all kinds of model. I think I already showed you this YOLO uh, 11 can perform classification, detection, segmentation, tracking and pose estimation. So we already saw that direction. Now we are performing this segmentation and these are the segmentation model okay, in the model too. So yeah. So now let's import this YOLO from the Artalytics. Then I will install the RoboFlow because if you see, if I want to download the data from the RoboFlow universe, what I have to do, I have to uh, install RoboFlow. You can see there's also suggesting. So let me install the RoboFlow. After that, just try to copy paste this code snippet. Okay. Copy paste this code snippet here. So it will automatically download the data set from, from the RoboFlow universe. And if you are using Ultralytics YOLO 11, it's like very easy to train. Only just one line uh, one line of code you need to execute, I'll tell you. And it will perform the entire uh, training for you. So, so many configuration is not required here. Now see guys, this is the data it has downloaded. Now, you can see in the in the test image. So guys, you can see in the uh, test image folder, image folder and label folder are available, okay? And it is also having one file called data.yml. So inside that, it is having all the location of the data number of classes that means uh, one classes we are having called tumor got it so yes uh, and i think i already showed you the annotation how to perform the annotation there now what you need to do guys uh, you just need to do a little bit modification here so first of all you have to copy this path here okay this is my entire data path okay here you can see i've co uh, copied this path and here i have mentioned because whenever we will start the training so it will load the data from the data.yml file so make sure you are giving the correct path and open the data.yml file path and try to change all the uh, these are the path actually so let me open the train, copy the image and try to replace with the complete path. Okay, otherwise you may get some issue. So that's why we are giving the complete path here. Copy path for the validation as well and for the testing as well. Okay, so once it is done, just try to save with the help of control S. Now let me close it. Now see, this is the training code guys. Okay, simply first of all, you just need to download one model, pretend model from the uh, models you can see so i'm downloading this nano model you can see i'm downloading the nano model you can also use any other model and after that just try to call model.train give the data location that means data.yml file path epoch like number of epoch you want to train i want to train 10 epoch and image size so during training actually they use a 640 uh, dimensional image so that's why i'm giving the same size 
and device is equal to zero that means i want to utilize my gpu okay and if you are using multiple gpu you can also give the gpu id now see so if i click here so it will automatically download the model load the data and it will start the training so let me show you and it will create a folder called runs okay inside runs folder it will track all the artifact that means all the models all the matrices everything it will save here So guys as you can see my training has started and uh, you can see the log log is pretty good so it will show you all the real-time metrics like losses uh, then mep score everything it will show you so let's uh, complete the training after that i will plot the graph and there i'll tell you uh, the model performance and we'll be loading the pretend model uh, sorry we'll be loading our trained model and on top of that we'll be also doing the inference operation so let's wait guys because uh, training will take some time so guys as you can see my training is completed and uh, it is showing the entire map score uh, the map score should be close to one uh, if it is close to one that means your model is learning better now you can see all the artifacts has been saved in the runs folder if i open the segment train and you can see this is my weight okay so base.pt is my weight okay that means this model we have trained and these are the matrices okay all the matrices configuration you can see so let me uh, oh, uh, plot actually one uh, matrix called result.png so it will contain all the let's say matrices you can see the training losses that means epox is increasing loss is decreasing it's good and epox is increasing map is also increasing okay that means uh, my model is learning better map means mean average precision okay so yes uh, now what i will do guys i will load the model so you can see i'm loading my trained model now we'll be doing the inference operation so this is the trained model location so just to copy the path and try to give it here and let me upload some test data here so that would be better so i'll upload this three image you can also upload the entire folder you can also upload the video if you have so everything will work now just simply copy the path and try to give the location here okay now if i execute so it will load my trained model and it will load the image and it will perform the uh, segmentation you can see this is the segmentation and it's pretty good guys you can see confidence score is 86 and you can see amazingly it has segmented even you will also get the bounding box because we know that if we are performing segmentation with that we also get the bounding box okay now let me show you another example so i'm loading this three image see okay if you're performing the video you just need to give the video location okay and if you want to use your camera you just need to give the camera id here that means zero so that's how we can use different different kinds of data so yes guys that's how actually we can perform the uh, custom training of this yellow v11 on the instant segmentation i hope you liked it so thank you so much guys uh, for watching this video and i will see you next time